Hey, this is Taylor at Truck World RVA. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2012 Ram 5500. Just a little over, under 218,000 miles. It's a Cummins powered truck with the ASIN automatic transmission. Four wheel drive. Uh, the truck originally came out of New Mexico off of a Cummins service fleet, or excuse me, I think it was Utah. Um, either way, we sold it a few years back to a uh, semi-local customer here who ran it for a little bit and then traded it back in. Um, the entire bed has just been sandblasted and repainted. Shows like new, it has a 7,500 pound capacity, 30 foot reach crane, one set of drawers, uh, just did a brand new turbo. It has a brand new rear in it as well. Um, it's ready to go to work, does not currently need anything. If you have any questions, feel free to call or text 804-716-8487. The goal of these videos is to show you everything about the truck as if you were here looking at it in person. So I'm gonna spend some time, point out any cosmetic imperfections on the truck, look inside all the bins, the undercarriage, and then the second half of the video, take it for a drive and run all the equipment on it. So it is four wheel drive. There's your PTO switch down there factory exhaust brake as well. Uh, we're missing this knob, but we did order it, so that'll be in shortly. 217.999, so it'll probably turn over to 218 in this video. Cruise control, power locks, power windows. Uh, no rips or tears in the interior. Overall, the interior is in pretty good shape considering the miles and the age of the truck. A little bit of wear here down here on the um, sill plate where you get in and out of the truck. Scrape it with your feet, your shoes. Additionally, you have a ding here in the door that's kind of been touched up a little bit previously, uh, as well as a ding here and just some chips along the door edge as well. If there's anything you want more close up pictures or videos of or any additional information you might need, feel free to call or text 804-716-8487. Happy to send over any information you might want, uh, receipts for any of the work done or any of the parts we've put on the truck. There's a ding front bumper here in the chrome and then just some rock chips as well along the front of the hood. Good tread life remaining on the steer tires there. Ding here in the door. This is a bracket for a laptop mount. I don't have the uh, laptop mount here, but at some point it did have one, the bracket's still there. You have diamond plate that runs the entire front of the box, so it saves it from any rock chips or anything like that along the front of your bins. Some surface scaling on the frame rails. Nothing too major um, there. Bin floors are all solid. Again, we just had this body refinished, so they sandblast and paint the exterior of the bed. Has the master lock system as well. You can lock all your doors at once, slide that through a padlock through it, or leave it open. Each door individually locks as well. Here's your tall torch compartment here. Again, bin floors are solid. Got some shelving there on the left-hand side. All these doors close, latch, lock, and seal as they should. All the locks are keyed the same way. It's nice you have the double tall torch cabinet here. So another tall compartment on this side. Looks like at some point they had some drawers in this bottom section and then some shelving up here.
The back also has the master lock system on it. It's your wheel well compartment here. A little bit of surface rust in the inner bin seams. Common area on these IMTs, really every bed. Um, right over the wheel well compartment, you'll always get some of that inner bin seam rust with a little bit of age. And then on this metal bracket on the bottom, you just have a little rust there as well. It's not coming through the door any, um, but probably best to clean that up. And uh, what I've done in the past is just throw like a marine caulk right over top of there. Um, but somehow water always gets in there on these beds and then it sits in that sill. Um, every IMT is kind of like that. Shot underneath. You can see the bed floor there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's nice and dry. This is your crane compartment here. one real craft hose reel and then your uh, controller body controller there and a factory IMT dual joystick wireless remote it's a 30 foot extension two stage hydraulic extension and a 7500 pound maximum lifting capacity manual outriggers workbench rear bumper tow hitch receiver and then you can see your air hose sticking out the back it does have an enclosed bed cover that could be removed if desired. It's a three-stage retractable bed cover. That is not going to open. Put a new handle on that. See that bed cover? Uh, this goes up, pull this pin, and then it retracts in on itself in three stages. So tons of additional storage inside of the bed there that's secure you can latch it and lock it another set of shelves here in this compartment One more wide shelf in this compartment. Pretty much the same exact deal as in that passenger side wheel well. Just have that surface rust along that inner bin seam there. It's got matching Continental Drive tires across the rear. Another set of shelves in that compartment. And then this set of drawers is brand new. Just purchased through IMT and installed. All your dividers are there. This set of drawers has never seen a tool in it. You literally just put it in. They have a hydraulic IMT brand air compressor there on the front. And that's about it for the cosmetic portion. I'm gonna get in the truck and take it for a spin now. We'll take a look at the engine and then run all the equipment on it.
So I just got a uh, some sort of voltage or charging system fault as well as a check engine light. I'm just taking it down the cul-de-sac here. So we'll look into that and see what's going on there. The truck rides super smooth. Ironically, uh, when tires on these are, and you might be aware of this if you've been in service trucks, but when tires are wore in, you know, at least have 10,000 miles or so wear on them, they ride way better than when we put new tires on them, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but the tread on these is, is good. They're not new. We didn't replace them, but it rides a lot better because they're not new. And when you go to put new tires on it, until they wear in right, they don't ride quite right. Everything's run off this factory wireless remote. Kick the air compressor on there. It's a dual joystick remote, fully proportional. So the trigger is uh, not your speed control, but your trigger's your on off switch. And then speed control's done through the joystick itself. Right now I'm going out while I winch down. You can do multiple functions at once. So you control the speed by how hard you pull that joystick there.
Again, I'm doing multiple functions at once. I'm retracting as well as winching up. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you again for watching. Again, this was a 2012 Ram 5500. IMT Dominator Bed, 7500 series crane with a 30 foot reach, hydraulic air compressor, one brand new set of drawers, a little under 218,000 miles. If you have any questions or want any additional photos or information on this truck, feel free to call or text 804-716-8487. Thanks again for watching.